Since I have a test tomorrow, I am studying for it. That's boring because test specifically math is such a boring idea. Since you are help, struggling with it, I can help you a little so you can be better prepared for the test tomorrow. I have a better idea. I am going to cheat myself him to ace the test. Now, if you cheat your way in, you will never get ahead. Besides, doing this will automatically destroy you and your future. Whatever, I don't even care because you're just a boring person who studies boring subjects. So your small talk of not understanding tests is such a lame idea, you know. Bad luck, you two. Besides, for tomorrow's test, I will be studying for cheating. What's happening? It's impossible for humans to explode, right? But it is possible for it to happen at a subatomic level. First, we will have to understand the reason behind this explosion. The common answer would be due to disagreements, but there's a deeper one involved. In 1928, a scientist named Paul Dirac observed this history and said that the normal matter and its antimatter annihilate with high speed due to opposite charges and quantum numbers, even though they have the same mass, releasing energy like gamma rays. Like the antiproton and proton with the same mass and same copies but different perspectives and different clothing. Or the PET scan that we use to see any cancer from the gamma rays through the annihilation of electron and positron. But what about the other particle that exploded itself by the name Majorana? In 1938, a mysterious scientist by the name Ettore Majorana suspiciously disappeared. He said that a particle can be its own antiparticle making it a Majorana particle. Think of it as like a subcategory of an antimatter, like saying this is the beginning of the end. We may not realize that a particle can be its own, own antiparticle because it all started with a big bang.